Today is a very special day because there's been speculation about Nvidia playing around with their earning and creating fake revenue and at the same time this short seller firm came out of the woodwork to say that tomorrow which is now today they're going to be dropping their biggest short seller report of the year. So now it's time to get ready and create a game plan because if it's happening I don't want to miss it. So we're about 20 minutes of the open and at this point Nvidia like I said it's going to be my main watch but I also do have some small cap on a watch in case you know we break out or something like that. It's definitely not going to be some A plus plays but I think there's some money to be made today so let's see how it goes. By the way if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe. I also did link all the best tools for day trading in the description so that includes broker, scanner, charts and news feed. So let's get back to the video. So the morning session went pretty well. I caught this really nice trade on AXLA. The stock has been watching for a while and it was just breaking out above an important level. But the breakout and it worked really well. So it's kind of unfortunate that the short seller report didn't really do much. It was one of these reports that the stock goes down and kind of just retraced. And I'll be breaking down a bit more of these later in this video. But so far the session has been going pretty well. Now I'm going to grab lunch. And hopefully we get a new setup this afternoon on the same name. So AXLA, I think it's going to be the main play for my style of trading. So let's see how it goes. All right, the day is pretty much over and it was a pretty good day in terms of trading. This was just easy trading the whole day. There was like no headache, no stock that I decided to fight for nothing. There was nothing I had to hold for a long period of time. So just straight up scalping. I kind of hate scalping, but sometimes there's day that that's just what it is. And you have to do with what the market gives you. So I'll take a quick break and we'll do the review and go over my best trades of the day and also some kind of not so good ones. All right, so it's finally time for the review. Yesterday I was really excited about uh, doing that review, but it was still really nice outside. So I wanted to enjoy and do it today instead because I do have time before the open. So as usual, this is not going to be financial advice. This is for educational purpose only. And let's get into it. So the first trade we're going to be talking about is going to be on PDD and this one was the one with the news. So I'm going to pull out the news and we have it over here and I'm not going to go over all of it because it's a report so it's, it's kind of long but overall when there's a short report so these are companies that do like a deep dive on a company that they think is shady because they got a, a lead from someone and they go find everything what's wrong with this company that they're not saying to the public and they publish a report and normally it makes the stock crash like 30 50 percent and stuff like that so the last one we had one that was decent on some kind of mid cap large cap it was on dlo and you guys can see that the stock went from 2150 to 1030 in one day so almost and this was in like a few hours like very quick price action so when i was looking at pdd uh, and there was this short report or i knew this short report was coming out i just felt that this could be an opportunity to you know for a stock to go 50 percent or you know down 50 percent but i think there was confusion because some people thought the the report was going to be on nvidia and it ended up being on something else. So the reaction or my reaction was just like, oh, well, I don't even care about this other company. I really want it to be on Nvidia because it would have been like the biggest trade opportunity of the year. And it's a day that you would want to risk like everything you can if it's true, because it would have just tanked like 30% in a day because firms or like funds or big institution are all like involved in this stock. So if you know, it would have been on Nvidia, all these funds now have like a decision to make and make it really quickly because if they just sit there and say, I'll wait, then the stock drops 30%, then now they have to sell because they're getting liquidated. 
and all of that stuff. So on uh, PDD, the stock did gap down and the news came out about like around, I would say here like 1020, but it just felt like somebody already knew about the news because we were gapping down. And you know, we, we saw a bit of price action. I, I got short over here. So this is the execution, right? The stock, you know, made a bounce, uh, went lower, bounced into VWAP, gets tight to the lows. You know, I shorted a bit versus this like 96.50 and then added more on the break and we're not really seeing the aggression i thought we would because this is a short report so i'm expecting this that if we kind of break low this should like tank like volume would should really come in and this should go so much down so when we're not really going down i'm covering most of my position just saying like this is odd like this doesn't feel right and then we get we get like this bounce back and like i'm like this is not the trade that i signed up for so i, I just covered when there's these kinds of report like short report um you have to have a feel of like do people care about the news and it just felt like it didn't and it just retraced all the way back to almost like the highs so like nobody gives a f about that uh, report so moving to the next trade i had one that was just like a textbook breakout um it broke out yesterday in the afternoon um, I wasn't involved in that, but today we had like a previous day high breakout. So that was the level. So I got along pretty close to the open and we did started to, you know, break this little pivot. I got long somewhere over here anticipating the break. And what I did that was funny is I got long and then I tried to put a stop and I put the stop at the wrong price. So it just sold my position and I just had to rebuy re it back. But the good thing is when I bought back, I just bought back plus more just to compensate for the stupid loss that I just took, which was very, very small, um, but it was still annoying. And we can see here, I just got long and put a stop, which just sold my position. And the second green uh, thing is just my new position that I put on with like the proper stop at the 38 low. And I sold most of it on the first push and it did ended up, you know, having a second leg um i just didn't really trust it just the fact that it's like such a shitty company you know so you, you take the quick move and you move on but this was just a playbook trade like um you didn't have to think too much you know you're just looking for a setup it starts to move you jump in you know you sell when there's momentum slowing down and you just move on with your day i didn't do anything else after that uh there was probably another setup over here but as I said, it's not a great company, so it pops, it fades back, you know, in the after hours. So, and it's something that you have to deal with if you're going to be training these small cap, really shit company, because they don't, you know, hold most of the time. They don't do that well. If I was taking the same setup on something that's more like a real company, like a mid cap, large cap, there's no chance that I would have got flat over here. I would have looked for, you know, multiple days of price action. But on a small cap, just like, you know, the quick move and that was it. And after it gets so choppy that there's more chance that you lose money trying to, you know, to get involved here. It just goes off. You get involved here. You get waked out. You try this one. You hold. Next thing you know, you're done the next day. So <laughs> didn't want to feel that way. Didn't want to think about it when I was doing other things. So that was the only trade on it. So moving on to the last trade. And this one was on Roku and i felt like it could have give more action uh toward this is the previous day low and i was just shorting anticipating that you know we would get tight but i was just shorting way before the level was really important so it was just a bad trade i tried it once over here with like a super tight tight stop because i knew i was wrong so i wanted i didn't want to wait for you know to lose money really on the trade i just knew i was like this is a bad trade so i took it out uh, but after that, when we came back, I showed it again versus like a random level, just just bad trading. And if we bring the chart, we can see that, you know, this was the level that I was looking for. So I was getting short right over here and I tried it back. Um, it was right over here or uh, yeah, somewhere like right over here. And, you know, it just spiked back. So that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoy. If you do like and subscribe, peace.